Dharma with Wicker Man. Now that was a heavy rocking tune and a very, very, very catchy uh, like riff there, and it draws you in right away. I love these guys. I mean, they do such a good job of just kind of giving it their all. Yeah, I mean, superb tune. I mean, when you introduced them and the song itself, like Wicker Man, I immediately thought of Edward Woodward on fire. Yeah. But uh, nice. now as the song progressed, I was thinking more like with Eckman shaking her ass. So, <laughs> yeah, it had the best elements. It was, I mean, the chorus. It's, I, I find it hard to find chorus is me personally, and that, that's like a kind of chorus that'll get stuck in your head as well. I well, find myself singing along to it there in between the songs without <laughs> even knowing the words. Well, you know, it, it's it's uh, partially alternative as well because uh, the 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 chorus, like you mentioned, just in general, it, it just it kind of it all ties in. It kind of works as almost the first chorus, the first sort of layout, but it's still a good tune nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So next up, we're gonna yeah, get to yeah. a band called Black Tooth, and the song's called John. Dig this. Yeah. And he knows he can't be sick But if killing time is all he's got Society makes him sick for her and it's now to do with luck oh. If he could he would be caught up in the center of the universe He'll pretend he is invincible and hang on to the hourglass Power, he is king and conqueror. She looks a little flustered as he paces back and forth, but he likes it when they're paranoid, cause paranoid is fun. Hello. Yeah, Johnny got cut short, yeah, before the deed was done. He looked into her eyes and saw the person he become. She knows it doesn't mean it She thinks he's quite a catch Well, if killing time is all they have Then this is a perfect match If she could, she would be caught up In the center of the universe She'll pretend she is invincible And she won't let them pull up
All right, that was a black tooth with, with John. Now that was a uh, cool rock and tune, more blues rock than anything, but very very quick. I really enjoyed uh, the, uh, the whole entire song. I really did. Vocals were great. You know the the guitar uh, fit very well and it flowed nicely. It was a great tune. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I love to kind of comment because I they must hate me because I, I often compare them to people, but it's it's purely through compliment me. Like reasons like Jake well, Bug stuff like that. I think the singer sounds a little bit like Jake Bug, who to me is you know, the way he sings is not something that's readily heard. But he, it's would you say it was punk? I mean, I, I find kind it hard of. to describe like, exactly what genre they're in. You know what I mean? So, kind of. I mean, kind of punk, kind of blues, kind of rock. It's cause like a whole mix of different genres. So it's kind. Of, so we're not gonna pitch and hold them, but uh, it's kind of hard to narrow it down. But either way, they're a very cool band, nonetheless. Yeah, Welsh pirate music. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, so now a pirate walks into a bar, and uh, the bartender says, "Because why do you have a wheel in your pants?" He's like, "Ah, it's driving me nuts." <laughs> 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 So, next up, we're going to get to a very cool band who's got a new album come out very, very soon. And this is Elm Treason with Honey Feet. Dig this. <laughs> Yeah. 
Honey Feet, Elm Trees, and, and now these guys were so much fun when I talked to them. This is about three or four months back, and uh, had such a great time with them. And they've been working on their new album diligently, so it should be out very, very soon. And it's going to be about 21 songs, acoustic and electric. It's looking very cool. And uh, it was funny because both of them are were big fans of Seinfeld, and that's kind of like kind of what kind of led the interview a little bit. Even though we talked about music a lot, it kind of kind of got it a little bit, but it was a lot of fun and. It was a great to have them on. So they're they're just a good duo in, in general. Uh, Bobby and Andy have like such a good chemistry together, and it was cool kind of to find out how they came together initially, because uh, uh, Andy was saying, well, he and his wife were in church, and uh, Bobby's playing piano, and uh, and uh, his uh, Bobby uh, Andy said that his wife kept saying like, oh look at that, look at him play piano, he's really good, he's really good, and she's like, like, no, I'm a musician too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so and then they got a chance to meet and they've been playing music together ever since and man like it's it's so great yeah I mean they've got, except that you've got a pinch on for the, the catchy tune um, it's unfortunately me personally being the miserable kid that I am <laughs> I'm not really into catchy tunes I tend to go for things that are just really yeah like death metal shit like uh. that no, it's that has that kind of upbeat, catchy, very cheerful tune. Um, I can't say much more than that, other than, other than it is a good tune. You can't tell. Oh, well, it's the last time I invite you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, uh, sorry. Oh no, don't apologize, Dave. I'm just teasing, buddy. <laughs> That's all right. It's all uh, good. It's the black cloud above us. You need to apologize. Yeah. So next up, we're gonna get to uh, Lord Numb's song. It's probably my favorite one uh, by him, and the song is called "The Ghost of Divers." Dig this. Breath and hold your nose. Dive down to where the car. 